hello everyone, my name is Rick Pasek, the Fly Fish Fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Today I will be tying a, uh, a fairly simple pattern, um, but uh, it's uh, salmon time down on the west coast of, uh, of Canada and the U.S. Um, and pink salmon are running right now, and uh, they're really fun, easy to catch, and really fun to catch. Um, this has been my absolute go-to killer uh, pink salmon fly. Um, I tie a similar one, similar size for coho, but a different color. And I saw, uh, tie a similar one, different color, smaller for sea run cutthroat. So here we go. So that is the pattern we'll be tying. Really simple to tie, um, but uh, super, super effective. Uh, I tie them with a green or with a pink bead head. I find that the green just gives them a little bit of, of attraction. Um, so this is a size four. O'Shaughnessy, Mustad O'Shaughnessy hook. I love these hooks, these saltwater hooks. Super strong, straight eye. Um, I just, I just have, I've liked them ever since I, I started using them. Um, I'll be using a, uh, a Uni Ultra thread in a fluorescent pink, 140. Um, I'll be using some um, uh, small Palmer chenille in fluorescent pink, and then just a little bit of flash for the tail in pink as well. So, so I'm just going to start my thread right behind the bead. Like I said, this is a simple, simple, simple pattern, but holy crap, have I done well with it. The other thing that I've done really, really well with, with pinks, um, especially in the estuaries, like off of, uh, on Vancouver Island, off of Nile Creek, and, and actually in the Fraser River as well, is just a straight old handlebar. And a handlebar is basically what I've just done. That's it. Finished. I might put a couple of strands of flash on the butt, but that's it. Right, super super simple. Pinks are, uh, pinks they're, they're not too fussy. So, so I'm gonna take I don't know eight or ten strands of this uh, flash. Just gonna tie it on right at the front here. Flatten my thread out just a little bit. Just want to keep it flat. Go back to roughly the barb. Go under the tail and over the tail at least once coming all the way back up front cut off this excess just a strand there again like i said it's a simple pattern but uh it's been a, it's been a, an absolute killer um, and the other like i said the other pattern i do for coho and for cutthroat um, but in a different size for cutthroat is exactly the same as this, but it, with a chartreuse for coho. Uh, sorry, for, uh, for cutthroat, a chartreuse. And for the coho, I use kind of an, it's an olive colored one, um, Paul Marchenil. Now I do it in the chartreuse as well for coho, and it does work, but I find the olive one works better. Especially in more brackish waters. I don't know, like... Um, I find like in the Stave River and a few other places down in the Vancouver area, um, the the the, uh, the uh, olive works really well. So now I'm just going to cut that about the length of the hook, give or take. So now I'm just going to palmer this forward. I want to make sure that these strands are always facing back. I try to do two full turns right at the back. One. two and then I'm going to open up. I want to see that pink underbody through there. You see that? You see how I've opened that up and open that up. I'm almost doing with like, well, not almost. This is like a hackle. It's just that it's artificial, right? So open that up and then right behind the bead, at least two, sometimes I'll do even three depending on how I ended. Yeah, I'll do one more. Three turns right after the bead. Tie that off. back, wraps, nip this off, a little bit of head cement right onto the thread, um, pinks are a little toothy so you will, these will get destroyed, um, 
not like it's not every fish, but every second or third fish you'll have to uh, replace your fly. So again, don't go crazy for pink flies. They're they're pinks are, are not very fussy. They like pink and they like chartreuse. So go pretty simple. Uh, another one I tie. Uh, this is a big big version of it, but I I tie this one as well, which has just got a uh, a. Um, uh, what's this, this stuff called again? I always forget. Uni glow, pink uni glow body, and then just some shallopin. That's it, right? Real simple. But this has been my this the handlebar and this guy are my go tos for pinks. So, yeah, and that's that's it. Like I said, the, the only difference I would do for 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 cutties is I would do uh, uh, I I like doing a silver bead, and then the chartreuse body with a chartreuse tail. For cohos, I like doing the chartreuse bead or a gold bead. Gold is probably uh, the one that I use more, and then a, a, a olive colored uh, uh, Palmer chenille. Um, and I always use the, about this size, which is a size four O'Shaughnessy, um, for for set for uh, whether it's coho or pinks. Right? Like I said really, really, really simple fly, easy, easy to tie, um, doesn't take you long. And like I said, you, you'll, you'll be going, you will go through a few of these so. Just don't go overcomplicated for anything for pink, pink salmon especially. Right? Well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give her a thumbs up. Um, if you subscribed, thank you very much. If you have not, please consider doing so. And once I hit a 1,000 subscribers, I will be giving away a copy of both of my books as well as uh, a selection of flies that I tied on this channel. So, tie lines, everyone.